your latest news update from Western Mass News. Welcome to Western Mass News. I'm Griseta Landaverde, and here are today's top headlines. The mother of a Chicopee boy who has been missing for a week continues to ask for the community's help finding her son. Aiden Blatchard's mother giving this poster to Western Mass News saying she is looking for more people to help put them up in surrounding towns. She is asking anyone who would like to pick up some posters up from her to send her a private message. And those looking to get their COVID-19 vaccine at a local hospital clinic may be out of luck for the time being. State health officials say they are diverting their supply to mass vaccine sites and other community clinics. This comes after Governor Charlie Baker raised concerns this week about the state's allotment from the federal government. Bay State Health, Mercy Medical and Cooley Dickinson hope to be able to fulfill existing appointments. And lawyers for former President Donald Trump wrapped up their defense yesterday, saying Trump did not incite the mob of rioters who attacked the Capitol on January 6. 17 Republicans will need to side with Democrats in order to convict the former commander in chief. Well, Valentine's Day weekend has arrived. It will be at least dry during the day today and tomorrow, but it will be mostly cloudy and on the chillier side. So temperatures for today, seasonably cold in the mid to upper 20s. Again, we'll see some sunshine today, but clouds will build as the day goes on. Overnight tonight into tomorrow, some snow shower activity, just light uh, coating to one inch accumulation here with te temperatures in the upper teens to lower 20s. So just something to be mindful of as you head out the door tomorrow morning. Some slippery spots are likely, especially since this is not a plow, snow. We could see some mixing, but most of the threat for mixing is to the south and the east. But there could be some freezing rain or maybe some sleet associated with this one here. But again, during the day today and at least uh, for tomorrow, even through dinner time, you're looking okay for your Valentine's Day plans. In fact, tomorrow may be the warmest day of the week. Temperatures trending seasonably cold and we're also entering a fairly active weather pattern. Watching closely a wintry mix on Monday and Tuesday and again on Thursday and Friday. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.